Aloha and welcome to Lillian's Vegan World. I'm your host, Lillian Kumik with Think Tech Hawaii, and today's show is Church of Plant Medicine Retreat, Healing Through Nature in COVID Times. I'm so excited to welcome my guests, co-owners of Spirits Grove Healing Retreat Center, uh, Melissa Maureen and Richard Viraday, all the way from Manning, Oregon. <laughs> welcome, guys, to the show. Thank you. Thank you. It's such a pleasure to have you on. Thank you so much. Um, I was so excited to hear about what you are doing over there in Oregon, and we will get to it. But uh, I just wanted to let you know that this week in our uh, free magazine that's published weekly, it's called Midweek Hawaii, one of the writers, um, who is John Fink, wrote a very interesting article called The Silent Alarm. And uh, apparently the Center for Disease Control and Prevention said that about 44% of Americans were in the throes of depression and anxiety. Young adults, teens, um, even children suffering from anxiety, eating disorders, PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder, and even worse feelings. So I'm excited to have you on because um, there's a lot of evidence and a lot of studies showing that uh, being out in nature, even just taking a meditation walk, can have calming effects for all of these things. So welcome again to both of you. And I would like first to ask Richard. Richard, hello. Aloha. Aloha. <laughs> Richard, um, please tell us uh, briefly about what you do over at Spirits Grove. Um, I kind of break things. No. Um, <laughs> I fix a lot things uh basically uh, build the infrastructure and support it uh for the classes and programs that melissa does melissa does um so we uh we found ourselves together and we found this place together and we said, well, wait a minute, what's going on here? Because it just kept popping up when we were looking for a place to live together. And it, it's been exhilarating, exciting uh, to do this, to, to tap into her dream of uh, opening a healing retreat center. I can imagine, it, it sounds wonderful. Missa, can I ask you to tell us exactly what your retreat is all about, your healing healing center? Um, yeah, sure. Spirits Grove um, Healing Center, Church of Plant Medicine, is a place um, where animals and people come to heal. We rescue animals, and either they stay with us or we find them the homes when they get healthy enough, they let us know what they want. And then we will go in search of that for the animals. Some of them stay and become therapy animals. Um, for people, we do healing retreats, which includes um, meditation, qigong, qi, body work, nature walks. Um, we take people out in the woods. Sometimes we'll take somebody blindfolded out in the woods and sit them under a tree for 10 or 15 minutes. And of course we, we stay close, but just everybody is very, very silent so they can learn to listen to nature. And I like sitting them under a tree. They're back to a tree because trees actually will talk if people will slow themselves down long enough to really listen and tap into that. So we are a place to go to learn how to heal for yourself. We just guide people to what their body and their soul really needs. We don't heal anybody per se, but we allow people to find the tools they need to heal themselves. That's amazing. Um, what, you do, what you're doing is fantastic. And, there, you know, there are studies still going on about one third of uh, COVID-19 survivors, which is about 11 million Americans today, are, st are still suffering from the after effects of COVID, of, you know, living with COVID. So 
they're suffering from headaches, body aches, nausea, loss of loss of uh, taste and or smell, which would be mm. awful. Dizziness, lung damage, lethargy, and brain fog. You have this awesome, awesome um, healing retreat center, which I hope one day to come and visit as well and see it firsthand, um, where that people can come. Thank you. Where people can come and and really, you know, find a way to find that calm. Um, Let's take a look at your retreat. You have sent in some slides. It is absolutely gorgeous. Tell us about this yeah, one. That's Richard. Our, uh, yeah, that's our upper pond, we call it. Um, there's a beaver dam at the far end of the property and then another dam, that, a man-made dam, and then this is above that. And the beavers cross over between the ponds and go up and down the creek all the time. We see their trails in the ground yeah so awesome. this pond we have the upper and the lower pond and right this side of that pond is like um a wildlife highway to where all the wildlife that comes through our property utilize that to just go through our property drink the water and sleep there it's such an amazing thing to see that happen i can imagine and i i can also imagine the sight, the sounds that you are uh, you experience, and in a place like that, because once you are able to learn how to focus or even come close to meditating, if you're not you know familiar with meditation, which is something I highly recommend if you are suffering from any sort of anxiety or stress, um, mm -hmm. definitely try and you know go online find out how how it all works. But just even sitting outside in nature makes a difference, doesn't it? We, we, we sometimes sit on the back porch and hear the frogs going at night, just going crazy. And we'll go down and just be around the trees down there um, in different parts. And we've been slowly exploring the, the property. It's 40 acres and it's all forest. Most of it's wilderness. That's Which awesome. My gosh. And then we have such a variety of, of, herbs that grow at Spirits Grove, which is all the herbs that I've seen so far at Spirits Grove are for cleaning the blood, for healing the body, um, for lung issues. So a lot of lung plants, which is exactly what the planet needs right now with the COVID issue going on. So to be able to wander the property and show people exactly what those plants are and how to use them is such a blessing. Yes. So what is it exactly that you do? I'm looking at um, all these jars behind you. What kind of little concoctions are you um, gathering and creating um, over there? This is, we're actually in my shop in Forest Grove because um, we have better reception here that is Spirits Grove. So this is my um, herbal pharmacy and clinic right here in Forest Grove. So all these jars back here are, it's my library of herbs that I put formulas together for people. Um, if they just want a nice tasting tea, I kind of look at them and go, oh, they need this. And so I add it to it to, and make the tea taste good. But a lot of people come in and they have issues. I will do intakes, have appointments with them, and then create formulas specifically for their body's needs. That's fantastic. And all of your, uh, your products are organic? Yes, everything and here is organic um, or wild crafted. So we either pick it, which is the, our property is completely organic. So we either pick the herbs there or I buy organic or wild crafted herbs from two different companies here in the U.S. And I've been doing this for almost 40 years. That's amazing. I love it, Misa. Um, this is completely down my alley. Anything to do with plants and healing with plants and, you know, power from the power that you can gain from plants, not to mention all the healing benefits. I'm completely on board with that. Let's take another look at your next slide. <laughs> Isn't that a gorgeous photo? Yeah. This, is, Tell us about this it. is Claudia. She came to our open house 
And we took her for, she wanted to go down to the pond. So we took her down and then I asked her if they wanted to go to a very sacred spot. So we took, I took them here and this tree wanted her to hug it. So I told her, Claudia, the tree needs you to hug it. And she gave this tree a hug and we took this picture and it, 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 this picture is not Photoshopped at all. It's just beautiful. That's her smile. Yeah. It is gorgeous. Even the the colors, it's just like you could see that on the cover of a a book or something. I mean, who knows where the path will lead for you when you start um, creating creating, um, venues that help people. It's a win-win. I know Richard likes to, um, I think Richard will agree, we we learned a lot about win-win on a a recent seminar that Richard and I were lucky enough to attend that was with Psy Seminars. And, uh, you know, we learn all about the win-win theory. It just, it makes so much sense when you are doing things that not only help yourself, but benefit those around you. And that that includes the animals, the environment, the planet, um, as well as other people. You're definitely on, you know, the right path to some greatness. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There's um, a saying that I heard many years ago from this amazing woman in Alaska. And she said, when one person heals, we all heal just a little bit more. And I love that because it's, it's so true. If we can help just one person or one animal heal, then something inside of us heals as well. And it just, so it makes sense to just do our best. It, it, it really does, and that's why I'm so excited to talk to you both. I mean, this retreat is really something people should consider really visiting. Tell, tell us how people get in contact with you and, you know, book book your um, retreat and how, how do we go about it? Uh, you can call us at our landline. We actually have a landline at Spirits Grove. And you can call us there or you can go to our website, which should be up within the next week. It's spiritsgrove.com. And then our phone number um, for Spirits Grove is 503-324-1711. Excellent. Thank you. I urge anyone watching the show who, who is interested in learning about the Church of Medicine um, taking these meditation walks, these guided walks, and and really, you know, getting some you know beneficial information that can help change your your life, your mindset. Uh, please do reach out to Missa and and Richard. I'm sure they would love to hear from you. Uh, I am going to take a short. We are going to take a short break. So to all the viewers, please stay tuned, and we'll be right back after these messages. Welcome back, everyone, to Lillian's Vegan World. I'm your host, Lillian Kumik, and today we're talking about the Church of Medicine. Before I reintroduce my gorgeous guest today, I would like to uh, tell you about my newly released book, Hawaii, A Vegan Paradise. It is out in stores all over Hawaii, outside of Hawaii. You can um, grab a copy on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, and Costco. So definitely do grab a copy. There are over 120 plant-based recipes of the islands. And uh, this is my first book. I'm also very, very excited 
to announce that my second book is coming out just before the holidays in the fall. So stay tuned for that. I will be um, keep giving you updates on how that's going, but uh, another Hawaii-themed book that I'm really, really excited about. So having said that, um, back to uh, the Church of Medicine and the, the co-owners of Spirits Grove. Welcome back, Missa and Richard, to the show. Thank you. Just to continue on with your cookbook there, um, we have a copy and everyone I've showed it to, the chefs are just like enthralled with it. And we made the chocolate chick dip and um, some people couldn't put it down. They, me. <laughs> you and, and another oh, that's friend. So, that's so sweet. That is a, that's actually a nice recipe. I mean, people don't think of hummus as a, you know, as a sweet kind of dip, but just by incorporating some very healthy cocoa and, uh, you know, some other ingredients, you can really turn a hummus into sort of a semi-sweet treat. But I, I appreciate that. And, and thank you so much for your support in grabbing a copy. Um, one well, day, hopefully, I'll... Happy to. It's going to be available for people to come to the retreat to, to look through. And, thank and you guests, so our much. Our guest chef to use it. Oh, I would, I would love that. Thank you so much. Um, perhaps one day I can come and uh, cook a dish for you in person. Oh, wow. we would love that. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> um, guys, I do want to uh, talk to you again just about uh, the journey. Actually, I found some information online. Again, getting back to, um, you know, depression and what we can do to, to relieve some of these uh, unfortunate um, symptoms that, that people are really feeling, especially during COVID times. Um, is getting out in nature. This is really why I, I've just I've asked you on the show because what you do is just so fantastic. You have that gorgeous, gorgeous um, healing retreat center, and in addition to nature's calming effects on depression symptoms, being outdoors mm -hmm. alone, exercising boosts endorphins, the happy, feel-good, you know, chemicals that make us. Just, just lift our spirits, make us feel better immediately, immediately really. Yes. So if there's any advice that you have, what, what is it? When people come to your retreat, what's the first thing you do? Like how do you introduce them to your, your healing retreat centre? Well, we give them a tour. Um, we introduce them to the animals. We actually ask people to take off their shoes and just walk in the grass to connect with the earth which is huge and when the next morning when the retreat starts we have people come in at night the first thing we do in the morning is I take them through a qigong um, which is movie meditation and before breakfast we do qigong which it, it's does amazing things for the spirit and the body and the mind. It is like an, an antidepressant overload. And to do that in the forest with fresh air, animals wandering around next to you, it is one of the most amazing feelings there is. So that's how we start our, our days is with Chagung right there in the front um, the front yard, so to speak, which is about the size of a football field. <laughs> There's lots of room. Uh, mm -hmm. Actually, my husband and I practice grounding. Uh, every weekend, we, we go to the beach, one of our beaches here in gorgeous Hawaii. You know, we are spoiled in that way. But the first thing we do before we set up, you know, our chairs and get ready for, you know, rest and relaxation is we take a, you know, half an hour, one hour walk around the beach um, around the, the parks without our shoes on. And yes. uh, you can yeah. actually find documentaries. There's lots of information about grounding and, and you know, just getting your, getting your soul, your, your bare feet onto the ground it is another way of connecting with the earth, connecting with the energy that's coming yes. from, from the universe, from the planet. Like all of these, these small things you can start doing immediately. So, um, yeah. you know, one day, honestly, I hope that I do come and visit your retreat and I, I'm going to tell a lot of people about it because what you're doing is amazing. I do want to show the viewers some more um, photos of your property. Let's have a look. Yeah. 
who are these little gorgeous oh, uh, four-legged ones. <laughs> these so boys, they, um, so like I said, we rescue animals. And these two boys we rescued last September. And the one on the right, his name is Red Bear. And we found him a home with a family with four children because in having him, we found out he absolutely loved kids. And then Buddy on the other side, the very, he was so skinny. We didn't know if he was going to survive. He was, he was a skeleton with skin on him. And now, now he is the most beautiful, beautiful horse. And then that spirit dancer who we named the property after. Aww. She is one of the most magical horses there is. And then, of course, Smudge on my shoulder. He's the cat that is, he is a hilarious cat. So all <laughs> these animals come to us um, from interesting stories and interesting circumstances. And they come live at Spirits Grove. And we help them heal and they help us heal. I was just going to say, I to watch yeah. people uh, just get out of their cars. And then all of a sudden you just see them, their bodies just kind of relax, uh, just not even touching the ground yet. They just kind of feel the presence of the sky and the wind and such. And then as time goes on, as we take them through the forest and such, you see them just even more so um, decompressing and so forth. You know, having worked in the high tech industry for 30 plus years, I, you know, I can feel my own shoulders just kind of relaxing as we go down the trails and uh, feel the breezes and the birds calling and, and the goats walking behind you. <laughs> yes, That's, the animals oh, tend to follow so lucky. Us around the forest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, when I saw the slides that you had prepared for our show today, I did actually take a little look online about horse therapy, other no otherwise known as equine assisted therapy. And mm -hmm. this, this form of therapy um, does, studies are showing that it is actually improving um, a lot of things such as self esteem, communication skills, self awareness. Um, relaxation of course empowerment all these things that you know just being around horses can give you interpersonal relationships um improved self-control focused focus and concentration and of course the big one the big big one which is happiness have you ever ever been around an animal and not felt happy <laughs> yes <laughs> and then i, I was, I was hoping you'd and say no no, because then if I go to my horses when I'm unhappy and I put my head sometimes in their neck and I'll just talk to them and they keep all your secrets and you can cry in their neck and they will just love you. And when you walk away, you feel amazing, but you can go to them with all your troubles and your fears and they will teach you more about yourself then you will ever learn about them. And they are so gracious and so loving. They just want to heal us. So, yeah. Yeah. They've used I mean, uh, animals with, with prisoners, uh, you know, life prisoners for therapy for years. And it works very well. Mm -hmm. I, I can imagine. I mean, I'm an... I'm a vegan, as you know. Uh, I've been on a plant-based diet for 15 years now. There is nothing more important to me on my journey than saving animals, and I'm doing that through my work with food, um, trying to educate people on how you're not missing out on anything on a plant-based diet because the thought of what mm -hmm. goes on, you know, in in the animal world that's controlled by humans, uh, very very unpleasant things go on, but. You know, when you go to places like your retreat and connect with animals, connect with nature, you're going to find there's a better way to do life. It doesn't have to be the same just because you've been living a certain way, just because you've been told, you know, how you're supposed to be living, what you're supposed to be eating. 
all of these things are just excuses for um, for not wanting to change. But when you look at change, change is just chance and opportunity in disguise. There's nothing more um, exciting than embracing change in your life. So whether that means, you know, taking off those hundred dollar, eight hundred dollar, ten dollar shoes and getting your feet down in the dirt, um, taking a walk around. You know, if if getting your clothes off and walking around is your thing, that's a, that's another you know that's another avenue for for you to release all those stress, uh, all that stress, and and do something different. So I I encourage anyone um, to really go online and find Spirits Grove, um, connect with them, reach out to them. You know, perhaps you can go and visit, and I'm sure they'll they'll be more than happy to take care of you. I, let's let's continue on with the slides before I keep. Uh, talking about how wonderful it is what you do. This is the property. Yes, this is the lodge, the main house. Gorgeous. And we're looking at it from the Cedar Grove next door, mm -hmm. right, right next to it. Um, Richard, I do want to talk about your mushroom jerky, which I believe now you are using, you're experimenting mm -hmm. using molasses and maple syrup to, to flavor the jerky, meaning that it, it will actually be um, vegan, plant-based if you're omitting the honey and swapping it for other sweeteners yeah. so all of these mushrooms found on your property incredible yes that, uh, that's like season, candy to my uh, eyes <laughs> yeah and you know we're, we're switching we're going to have vegan options on there so i like the molasses she likes uh both the maple syrup and the molasses mm -hmm. um and the the, the bounty comes uh, you know, at different times with the different mushrooms during the year. So we, we've only been there a year now and we haven't seen all of the cycles yet. Um, so we're looking forward to the summer and the fall um, again, and especially the winter when the chanterelles come out. Uh, we've just completed the oyster mushrooms and they were very... I mean, we found another batch. Oh, and sweetie, we found more oh. <laughs> just <Hey>. today. <laughs> we and, and have also, such a plethora of mushrooms. It's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Again, you, you can imagine how um, how hearing and seeing your mushrooms is for someone like me, a chef. I mean, I I would just I would spend a lot of money to get mushroom my hands on mushrooms like that. Amazing. So, Missa, looks like you're going off foraging later on to find the new batch that Richard speaks of. Oh, foraging is almost a daily thing. I have to go out and see if I can find mushrooms. And then there's mushrooms that if we don't know them, we take them home and research them and go through many books and many apps to find out exactly what they are. And if even then, if we don't, if we're not 100% sure, we will not do anything with them, but put them back in the forest. Miss it just Anderson, makes sense to be safe. Definitely. I want to thank you so much for your time and uh, coming on to our show. To our viewers, uh, thank you always for joining Lillian's Vegan World. Do reach out to Spirits Grove. I uh, look forward to seeing you on another Lillian's Vegan World. Take care until then and aloha.